Hi, I'm Jim and welcome to my shop here in Rock Springs, Wyoming. Springtime seems to have finally arrived at least for today on the 20th day of April 2016. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk about uh, a live center, give you a little review on it. It's the Robust Live Center. First of all, I'd like to ask you if you like my videos and find them interesting, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel or clicking the like. If you have questions or comments, please share those as well. And I'd like to thank all of those who have subscribed to my YouTube channel today. And again, if you like what I'm doing, uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll get these updates when I put a new video out somewhat frequently. Tonight I want to talk about the Robust Live Center. We as wood turners all have probably a lot of live centers. But sometimes we look over the versatility that a live center can give us, but also the stability and turning that the live center also gives us as well. And as I looked around the internet and was deciding on the live center to buy and which one to buy, there were a lot of good options out there, a lot of great live centers, and uh, a few of them that I have that I really have liked. Uh, you know, you, most turners have these. They're a pretty simple, straightforward uh, live center. It's got a couple bearings in it. I usually get these for anywhere from 15 to 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, the next one is we all have like a maybe, all of us, but those who do pin turning, and I do some pins and turning, we'll have a uh, dedicated pin mandrel live center. And then, you know, we're probably all familiar with this one and that the end fell out is this is kind of the standard that comes with uh, most lathes, uh, you know, entry level midi lathes and, and uh, regular lathes, and, and this is okay. Now, some of you have got, and, and I have, and enjoy using, let me lay these down, have got and enjoy using the uh, Nova Live Center. And this is a really good center, and uh, Mike Peace does a uh, nice review on this and the options. It has a lot of options. Uh, it's uh, pretty affordable, uh, and it is a very good live center. <coughs> and while it is a, a good live center, it still um, it lacks some options that, uh, and, and it does lack some build quality of the Robust Live Center. So let's look at the Robust Live Center and some options that it gives us uh, and, and just kind of look the center over for starters. The Robust Live Center is indeed robust in its manufacture. Now the One Way Live Center and the Robust Live Center kind of compete in the same area but for me there were some options that I really liked about the Robust Live Center opposed to the One Way Live Center. Not taking anything away from the One Way Live Center. It is a terrific Live Center but for me uh, number one is a five year warranty. Number two, it has an angular bearing in it versus just a deep groove ball bearing. The angular bearing, when we put our pressures on our turning and we're pushing into it, we have what's called uh, two different kinds of loads, which is the radial load on the outside, but we have the angular load or the contact load that is pushing back on this live center. And that angular bearing along with a deep groove ball bearing handles the radial and the axle load both. The other thing I like, and I don't know, my daughter is my videographer tonight, I don't know if she can get a good picture of this, but inside this live center is a snap ring. Now granted again it's got a five year warranty, but inside this live center is a snap ring. You can service this live center yourself at some point should the bearings go out you can service this by taking the snap ring out replacing the bearings they are not uncommon bearings with the one-way live centers uh, they recommend that you return them back to one way to have them serviced. Let me talk to you about a couple other options as well this is threaded three-quarter tin which is a standard thread hardware nut thread size that you can get 
But I want to talk about some of the features for this. Number one, <clears throat> the center itself. With the center in, you have a cup center, small cup center. And with the included Allen wrench, you can adjust this point in this live center. You know, and it's hollow. It's got a 5 16 through hole. It's also threaded for draw bore applications. But you can adjust this pin way out here if you want to get further away with your turnings. Number two, this pin also has a flat side to uh, hold it with the set screw. The other thing is this can be turned around, placed back into the live center, and now you have a squared piece to go in, a drilled recess that you want to put in. Maybe you're turning a bowl or something and you don't want a point mark in it, a hole in it uh, from the live center. You can just bore a 3 8 hole and slide this right in that 3 8 hole. The other thing, it being threaded 3 quarter 10, again that's a standard hardware nut size. Uh, that you can get anywhere you want. It makes it really nice to make accessories for this live center. Cone accessories, these are really simple and easy to make, really fast. Three quarter nut, drill a one inch hole, square it out, epoxy the nut in, and now you have a cone to fit on the end of your live center to chuck into something. If you're doing pepper mills, you can make a dedicated uh, cone for your pepper mills. And then when you're ready to do one, you can just screw it right on here. And you've got a cone to use to put into your work. The other thing is this live center the outside turns when it's turning and that lets you get a hold of it and hold it and also there's a hole here this lets the bearings vent heat which is really important because all of our live centers as we know build up heat from the friction of the bearings but it also lets you put a rod in here to hold it so that you can tighten up these attachments now depending on where you buy the live center it may come with a couple accessories. One being this cup center here, which goes up to a very large size, which is nice, again. But also, the other thing about this is, is it'll chuck on here. And the fit and finish on this, by the way, is excellent. It'll also now let you chuck square stock up to about three, three and a quarter inches in diameter into this and self-centered. The other thing it does come with is a 60 degree point. And there is also available for it other accessories and you can just, you know, look at those. There's a hardened specialized pin point uh, for pin mandrels and things like that. But these are the accessories that typically you'll find it for sale with. Now while the price on this center seems a little, little expensive, remember you get a five year warranty, through hole for five sixteenths. Also, it is self ejecting in most of your lathes. The Morris Taper number two is standard. It's a very, very smooth running and vibration free center. Of the centers I've used over the years turning, so far, this robust live center, angular bearings, five-year warranty, and the options for it by far stands head and shoulders above the others that I've tried to date. Not saying the others are not good live centers, worth the money or the investment. But for my money, I am quite satisfied with the robust live center, and I would recommend it to you as well. Again, thank you for turning in, tuning in to my YouTube channel and watching this little review on the Robust Live Center. Thank you and safe turning. God bless.